An online petition is trying to save the first UW campus to close since the current president was hired. Students at UW Platteville Richland are trying to save in-person classes. Our Nicole Herzog spoke with them today. The announcement came without warning. I mean, it was really abrupt and devastating. Um, no one was really expecting this to happen. UW System President Jay Rothman sent UW Platteville Richland students and staff a notice that the two-year campus would no longer offer in-person classes come July 1st. The main reasons? Low enrollment and financial pressures that make face-to-face -face instruction, quote, no longer tenable. You see it more as 60 kids losing their career path or whatever and then a few faculty but I mean on the inside it's just like being inside of it is so much different you know there's professors here that have been here for a long time and now are losing their jobs. Students tell me the Richland Center offered a home away from home. Now their futures remain a question. We feel like we've been left in the dark yeah. and we've been trying it. The end of in-person classes at the Richland Center campus means about 64 students and 25 employees will be moved to either UW Platteville's main campus or its Baraboo campus. For some students, the in-person programs the campus offers were a key reason they chose the school. And I picked up my dog, my cow, a couple t-shirts and a pair of jeans and I moved two and a half hours out here specifically to come to this campus. In an effort to save their campus, they've been circling a petition and started a Facebook group. We want our voices to be heard because we want to bring awareness to not only the fact that the people that are here, but the people that could be here in the future. Facebook is now where alumni are sharing photos and memories of their time on campus. Everyone's just kind of reminiscing on how much we're going to lose because of what it brings to the community. Save us. You know, yes, Help please. us, please. There probably could be more to be done. In Richland Center, I'm Nicole Herzog for News 3 Now. The petition now has more than 680 signatures, far more than even the number of active students on campus. Students say they are hopeful it'll help make a change.